the ultimate muscle building workout for beginners. So if you're a beginner, this is the right video for you because I'm gonna tell you exactly what exercises to do on what day, how many sets, how many reps. And we're also gonna tackle the second problem that beginners face, which is consistency. The first problem is you guys don't know what the fuck you're doing, right? So I'm gonna teach you that in this video, but also those teachings are gonna be easily applied to the consistency aspect. In other words, you're gonna be wanting to go to gym because of how good, easy, and simple this fucking program is, right? So let me dive straight in. Let me tell you exactly what it is. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days a week only. This is what you're doing Monday, this is what you're doing Wednesday, this is what you're doing Friday. Why will this work, right? So the reason this will work is because every body part is getting hit twice a week. We're hitting, literally just look at your body, point at any point and you see that it's getting worked here twice a week. And we know that to grow our muscle the best, we need to work it at least twice a week. And every muscle here is getting worked twice a week. If we look at the movements we're doing as well, we're doing the basic human movement patterns. We're doing a vertical push, a vertical pull, horizontal push and a horizontal pull. Then the two main lower body movements being a squat and a hinge, we're doing that as well. So this program basically covers everything you need. Of course, I've got preacher curls in there for arms, rope push downs there for tricep. Everything is here, bro. Literally everything is here. Like this is one of them programs where it's really beginner friendly because it leaves no stone unturned. Like you're not going to get any major muscle imbalances or weaknesses from something like this because we ticked all the boxes, right? In between each set, you should rest about two to five minutes. Two to five minutes is the sweet spot for hypertrophy in which we get enough rest to then do another hard set, but it's not too much rest in which we're wasting time in the gym and doing fuck all, right? So two to five minutes in between each set. And in terms of the sets, what I've got you doing is three sets for more or less everything, those sets being in either the five to 10 rep range or the eight to 12. Now, the reason for that is because lower rep ranges, I fear that for beginners, you won't be getting enough reps practicing doing the movements. You're a beginner, right? So you need practice in doing these movements. So if you do something like a three sets of six to eight, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good amount of reps for you to practice the movements and get the form down. But I just feel like something like five to 10, or eight to 12 will be better because you're gonna be doing more reps, getting more practice and getting the technique better. And we all know technique is damn fucking important. Without technique, a lot of bad things can happen. On that point, what is the importance of good technique? So the importance is number one, injury prevention. If you have good technique, you're not gonna get injured because you're not gonna put your body, muscles or joints in a position where it sh they, sh they shouldn't be, essentially. You're gonna basically move the body in ways that you should be moving it. And number two is gonna stop you from ego lifting and using weight that's too heavy. Because what often happens is bad technique is often quarter repping or, or doing half reps and essentially, or essentially not using a full range of motion. And when that happens, what guys do a lot of time is they load up too heavy and they'll be doing, let's say I'm doing a dumbbell extension like this, right? Instead of going all the way down how I should, guys will just be coming down like a quarter of the way and using a really heavy dumbbell and then one day, miraculously, accidentally, they're gonna go too far down and boom, they've got this heavy ass dumbbell that they've never used in this end range of motion. They're gonna try to extend the elbow up and boom, 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 shit's just gonna snap and break and they're gonna injure themselves. And essentially, that's just gonna be an injury caused by improper form and ego lifting. So as a beginner, you need to be a form nerd, bro. Like you need to be on it with your form. Watch many videos on how to do proper form, watch Good channels like Alan Thrill, Renaissance Periodization, any of them TikTok nerds like Ryan Jewers, shout out Ryan Jewers. Watch them to get your form up, right? Now, in terms of the exercises I've selected, what I want you to keep in mind is that these exercises, you can exchange them for a different exercise as long as it trains the same movement pattern. What that means is, as you see on Monday, I've got you doing hack squats for three sets of five to 10. If your gym doesn't have a hack squat, you can do a regular barbell squat or a Smith machine squat because those exercises are the same movement pattern. There's still a squat, it's just different ways of doing the squat, right? So what I'm, what I'm saying here is, ideally I'd like you to follow this plan here because I've carefully thought about these exercises in the right order, and I've carefully thought about which ones I want you to do freeway and which ones I want you to do machine, and I personally believe this is like the best combination of exercise order, exercise selection, and whether we're using dumbbells, free weights, or machines. 
But if for whatever reason you just really hate the hack squat, for example, and you want to do barbell squats, go for it, bro. If for whatever reason you don't want to do a machine row and instead you'd rather do a barbell bent over row, go for it. Think of movement patterns as opposed to the specific exercise I said. Like, you know, when I said machine row, it doesn't have to be a machine row, but what it does have to be is a horizontal row. So you choose if you want that to be a machine row, which I highly recommend, or something like a barbell row. So you can change out the exercises. I don't think you should. So if you're unsure, just comment down below and then I'll let you know if, you know, your idea is a good substitute or not. But bro, just try not to change a minute. Like I carefully thought about this for a specific reason. Do exactly as the program says. Now, how heavy should you lift, right? Well, here's how the rep ranges work. I'm sure you know this, but if you don't, whenever you see something like three sets of five to 10 or three sets of eight to 12 or three sets of 10 to 15, what that means is the weight you should choose at the very minimum, you should be able to get five reps with it. And at the maximum, you should be able to get 10 reps. So if you've chosen a weight that you can get 12 reps with, then that weight is too light because you can do more than the top end of that rep range. The top end being 10 reps. So what you need to do is if you accidentally choose a weight too light, is number one, understand that's part of the game, that's part of the process. You know, that's, that's happened to me before, it's happened to everyone before, that's very normal. But just next week, choose a slightly heavier weight so that when you do your set, you fall in that five to 10 rep range. So that's how the rep ranges work. In terms of how heavy you should lift, what I recommend is do what's called a rolling start. This is when for the first one or two weeks of this program, you purposely choose weights that are just a little bit lighter than you can handle so that you roll into the heavier weights. Now, if you were to jump straight in with weights that are you know, heavy enough and appropriate for your current level, that would be fine. But as a beginner, I fear that you're gonna accidentally pick the wrong weights and you, you might fail a rep or you might, you might not be able to like, you know, get the bench press off you. And as a result of that, you don't enjoy the gym anymore or you think the gym's dangerous or you start getting negative thoughts like, damn, you know, I keep failing these reps. Like, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if the gym thing's for me. So what I'd rather you do instead is start lighter than you think, just so you spend one or two weeks successfully completing each set, successfully getting all the target reps, and then slowly build in to the heavier work that is gonna be closer to failure. Because the lighter work, we're purposely going lighter, which means because we're going lighter, we're gonna be a bit further from failure, right? We're not gonna take our sets to fucking death where we're there like all shaking and trying to complete the rep. Like, no, no, we're gonna be, you know, it's still gonna be hard, but it's not gonna be like a death rep. So what I want you to do is on the first couple of weeks, roll into it a little bit, choose weights that are slightly lighter, so that by about week three, then you're really in the groove, then you're really using the most appropriate weights for your level. Of course, make sure you rest enough, make sure you guys are eating enough as well, enough calories and enough protein. Check my channel for millions of meal videos on how to get calories, protein, everything in. Of course, be sleeping as well, and any questions, just let me know down below, bro. This is the ultimate beginner plan. Like every, every body part is covered. Every function of the body is covered. This, this is a go to plan, it's a go to plan. So listen, let me know if you thought this video. If you enjoyed, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what I should do in the next video. And I've got my free coaching as well. All you have to do is click the link down below. You get my free program and a free coaching call with me in which I help solve all of your muscle building problems. If that sounds like something you're interested in, click the link down below and I shall catch you in the next video.